Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. So today's video, we're going to be doing a very fresh, springy kind of glam. I've got quite a few new products to use. I've got the brand new Rare Beauty Highlights. I'm obsessed with these and I'm really excited to properly use them. They're nice and soft and glowy, so I'm going to zoom you in and get started on my skin. The first product I'm going to use, I haven't seen anywhere near enough people rave about this. The Naked Sundays Cabana Glow Mineral Glow Drops. These are SPF 50 Illuminating. I literally can't get enough of these, so when you apply it, it almost looks like it has a coverage to it. I was a bit confused at first if it was like a tinted moisturiser. I'm actually still confused. I'm not totally sure, but I really don't think it does have any coverage. I think it just looks like that. The glow is insane. I'm wearing this pretty much every day, either underneath makeup or on its own. Like three people asked me what I had on my skin. One of those where the glow really lasts all day. You know, some products you use and it looks glowy at first and then throughout the day, it's kind of just gone. This literally will look like that all day. It's such a beautiful product. Obviously it's SPF 50 as well, which is amazing. I have two birds, one stone for me. I need an SPF 50 and I also love a glowy primer. So the combination, so, so good. I love this brand anyway. I'm pretty sure they're Australian. There's one thing Australians can do is SPF. And married at first sight. And foundation, I want something quite lightweight but with enough coverage. I'm gonna take the Rimmel London Lasting Finish. This is the Hyaluronic Acid SPF 20. I absolutely love this foundation. For me, it's the perfect amount of coverage. Glow, it still looks like your skin. It's just gorgeous. Every time I wear these earrings and film, I always regret it because they're so jangly. I honestly think at the moment, if I had to pick one foundation to keep, it would be this. I reach for this all the time. It photographs really nicely. It wears really well through the day. It just does everything that I want from a foundation. I just haven't found anything to replace it in a little while. Coverage is so good as well. Just from one layer, it evens everything out. It's just the perfect base to work with. Next up, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Absolutely love this. One of my favourite concealers ever. And I'm just going to use this to brighten up underneath my eyes and add a little extra coverage. Using a slightly smaller foundation brush, I'm gonna start buffing that in. Love this brush, it fits so perfectly underneath your eye. I think they actually do a concealer version, but for me the foundation one is just like quicker. These two together is like my go-to fresh base at the moment. My ear is so red, I just blow dried my hair and all my piercings always heat up and it takes so long for the redness to go down. Let's just tuck that in. I set my face with a combination of two powders got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade 2. I'm going to use that all over. This is slightly closer to my actual skin tone. For underneath my eyes, Maybelline Superstay in the shade 03. This is slightly lighter, so it gives me a bit more brightness under the eye. And with the Maybelline one, I like a little flat, dense brush. And I'm just going to push it underneath my eye. I just love this powder so much. It literally makes your skin look airbrushed. Across my forehead just in the center where I want that brightness. I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury one on a slightly softer fluffy brush. Where else I want to set? I've been quite into a more matte base recently. I need to warm up the skin a little bit so I'm going to take the YSL bronzer in the shade 03. It's the perfect amount of warm for me without being too orangey. I'm taking a Vive blush and bronze brush. Start warming up my skin. We want that warm spring summer glowy look. And then a little bit around my forehead. And taking a slightly smaller brush, I'm just going to lightly contour the sides of my nose. I don't really do much in the way of a contour, I just like to have a little warmth there. I'm going to be going pretty heavy on the blush anyway today, so this is pretty much just to add a bit of shape. i do my brows quickly before we carry on with the rest of the face. So I'm going to use my trusty Rare Beauty brow pencil and just fill in any little sparse areas. I actually might be getting my brows laminated later. I had it done once years ago and I don't really know if I like it that much but I feel like I gel my brows up every day anyway so it would be easier but my brows are so frizzy and I feel like it just dried them out literally to a crisp. I've actually been using a brow serum recently. I've got this one. This is the new brow bar one. I've been using it for about two weeks now. I don't know if I've really noticed any difference. Um, I feel like brows are such a hard one. So hard to know if your hair actually grows. Brows used to be so, so bushy. I know they still are, but I don't understand why all my hairs just went one day. So I'm kind of trying to get them back the way they used to be. We'll see how that, see how that goes. Okay, brows are on. It looks more like my face now. So, so this is the fun bit. Like I said, I've got all the new Rare Beauty blushes. There are six shades. Um, I've got a few of my favourites here. So this is the shade Happy. I'd actually already bought this as soon as they went live on Space NK. I bought this shade. Um, so I'm not going to touch this one so I can give it to somebody else. This one's Hope. This is so pretty. More of like a peachy. Quite subtle actually on the cheeks but really nice. I think this is my absolute favourite. This is Cheer. So it's a little bit pinker like in comparison to Hope. 
you can see it's slightly pinker but it's still got that like peachy undertone so we've got the liquid ones like happy in the liquid is so so nice i think i'm actually going to mix these two together a little bit um i layered them up the other day and it was so nice i'm going to do a combination of happy and cheer this combination together is so so good and i'm only going to do a couple of little dots because i really want to let the the powder blush shine and shine it will you wait so i'm just going to start buffing that in this is actually a brush that i got with the set um it's by rare beauty but they don't have names on them but it's like the perfect brush it's already they're like dyed brown so it kind of looks dirty but it's not i mean that blush on its own is so gorgeous love these blushes they're quite subtle but very buildable and they literally just blend like a dream like minimal effort which we love like a little blush base going on there these are like a super high shine luminous powder blush when i first used them i was actually amazed by how pigmented they are like look at that I'm going to kind of bring it like the whole way around. I want quite a blushy look today. And where it's shimmery, I don't really want to bring it any lower than here. Just because this area is always a little bit more textured on my skin. So I want to keep the glow kind of up there. I got like a little blush happy with these the other day and I had about five layers on. But they are really, really buildable. I just feel like spring, summer. I'm also really excited to take like a flash photo with them. I haven't done that yet, but I just know it's going to look amazing. I'll run a little bit across my nose. So you can see it is kind of clinging to texture a little bit there. Honestly, I don't really care about that. It's skin, so it's going to do that a little bit. Honestly, who gives a fuck? Like, if your skin looks like that... I'm actually going to layer up another one, just because it's just too fun. So I'm going to take a little bit of Happy. And just really intensify. Just to get that real, like, pink pop. Oh my god. Okay, I literally need someone to stop me now. Put the brush down. Put the brush down. I think that's it for skin. I want to keep it quite minimal and just really let the blush do its thing. So going on to eyes now. I've got this new eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk liner. A deep brownie red, which on my eye colour is really good. So I think I might do that, smoke it out. Something simple, you know. Maybelline powder over my lids to get rid of the creases. I'm just going to go straight in with the liner. I love these. They're really easy to blend. Very soft. Let's go straight in. And I'm going to be really messy with this and just run it. The whole way along the top. It's like that gorgeous maroony purple shade. Take a little flat brush and blend that out. I'm just kind of softening that and re-intensifying the colour. I'm going to tight line with it as well. I mean, look at that. I'm going to take it right into the inner corner. Colour's perfect. It's like subtle enough to be wearable and every day. A, it makes it a little bit more fun. And B, it makes your eye colour pop so much. I think every eye colour looks good with warm, like maroon tones. Why is my eye watering? Please, no. I think they actually do a matching mascara colour to this, which I'd be very intrigued by. The only thing I don't love about these is I wish they were retractable rather than sharpenable, just because when you're tight lining, you can kind of feel this like scratching a little bit. It's not the smoothest texture. That's the only thing I wish that these were. I feel like eye pencils just should be retractable. I was just like, is this definitely an eyeliner? Yeah, I'm not putting lip liner in my eye. Like the immediate poppage of the green in my eyes. Do some mascara. I'm just going to take the Vive Modern Mascara. This is my kind of go-to mascara. I reach for this most days. Just heard the door go and I've ordered the most amazing pair of boots from Vinted. And I'm really hoping it's them. Probably just going to be like a letter from Nationwide or something depressing. I just think when you don't do black eyeliner, it makes the black mascara pop so much more. Kind of makes your eyelashes look longer. That is science. It's Anastasia Full Romance Palette. And I'm going to take the shade Crimson. It's like a really deep matte burgundy. I'm gonna buff that underneath. Sometimes that little extra bit of smokiness is so nice. Do a little bit along the top as well. Okay, we've just got lips to go and then we're done. Just to kind of keep in with the eyes, I'm gonna take the Lisa Eldridge 1N lip pencil. I've been obsessed with this. It is the perfect nude lip liner. Honestly, I feel like these spiritual girlies might be onto something because all of last week, for no apparent reason, I could not pull myself together. I couldn't get out of bed. I think I filmed about five videos last week, none of which will see the light of day. I was just in the worst headspace for no reason. Apparently, it's to do with the moon and the solar eclipse. And no word of a lie, I woke up this morning feeling like a different person. So I actually feel like I might be onto something there. Look at that liner. That's the most beautiful shade ever. I'm actually going to take a bit of the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Hope. I'm going to pat that on my lips and see what that looks like. It might kind of pull everything together a little bit. These actually work really nicely on lips. I've done this before. Sometimes when you use something that isn't a lip product on your lips, it's just like... Whoa. But this is actually really soft. I'm going to go in with a little bit of gloss over the top. This 
I feel like I need long nails to do that. That's really giving no impact, but this is no joke. This arrived a few days ago. This is the Big Lip, Big Lip Plump Gasm, Big Lip Plump Gasm from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not a big plumping lip gloss girl. I don't have that many, but I thought, oh, the color looks nice. We'll give it a try. How spicy can it be? Wild, even to the point that I'm like, do I even want to put this on right now? I would say spicier than Too Faced Lip Injection. It's literally made of jalapenos, I think, but it's really pretty and it's really annoying, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of it. I honestly don't know if they really plump either. Like, I don't think I've noticed a massive difference. Like, for the pain, I want people to be like, oh my God, have you just had your lips done? Like, you look amazing, sensational. No one said a thing and I was just in pain. Look how pretty it is. So, I actually think the face is, oh no, I haven't done my freckles. I keep doing this and then I'm like, why do I look weird? This is the V Power Ink Liner. Add some freckles in. I desperately need to get these retattooed, but honestly, I might just do it myself. Skincare I use, I use retinol. And I'm always scrubbing my face. I just don't think they want to last on me. I may just have to do them myself and like lit one often. What I was thinking the other day that I really want to do, but it's like so 2012. I want to try and do like a no mirror makeup challenge because sometimes when I'm at work and like I don't have a mirror, I can just do my lip liner like for a memory. And it got me thinking, maybe I should try and do my whole face. I reckon I could do it. My eyesight is so bad. I have a mirror there, but I can't see it that well. I don't know, is that a bit cringe? Maybe that's cringe. It's the finished look, super glowy, fresh skin. I am obsessed with those blushes. Like, if you that like really warm, glowing from within, you know when you're on holiday and your skin just has that glow, I feel like this just fakes it so well. Last step, I'm gonna do my fragrance of the day. This is actually a brand new one for me from Lilabo. I was saying the, but apparently it's like tea, like French. Is it French? I think for tea. The purposes of not humiliating myself, I'm gonna just say matcha. 26. I got invited into the Lalabo store in Soho last week. They made this up for me. I didn't know they like make them all in store for you. Like they literally concoct this little thing and he was mixing it up and it was quite amazing. Also another fun fact I learned. I love a fact. The numbers are how many ingredients are in them. So they all have different numbers, um, which I thought was really cool. I like all like the little touches with Lalabo. I love brands that have like little tiny things. They also personalize the bottles because they do them in there. They'll like print whatever you want. You have like who made it, where, on the date, and then it's got my name on it as well. I think that's the cutest thing ever. I love all the little attention to detail. And honestly, this smell is insane. It's not like anything else I have. It's really, really fresh. I wanted something a little bit fresher for spring. It's one of those that I've never smelled anything like it. I've never smelled this on anybody. It's just really, really unique. I think all of their fragrances are really unique. I was smelling them all in there and it took me ages to pick one, but I narrowed it down to this. I wanted something really fresh, a little bit lighter than I normally wear for spring, and I just think this is perfect. It doesn't really smell matchery at all, if you don't like matcha, because I think matcha tastes and smells like dirt. It smells to me almost a bit like the White Company Mint Candle without the mint. I'm so good at explaining fragrances, insane. But that like real fresh, almost like a clean bedding, just smells so, so good. I love it, it's so different from anything else that I have. That is my makeup and fragrance of the day. I'm not gonna do an outfit of the day because, do you wanna see it? Okay, I'll show you it. I've got a dress on, but also my pajama bottoms because it's so cold. But there we go. That is the finished look for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, all the products that I've used will be linked in the description box down below. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day wherever you are and I will see you all very soon. Love you.